is Congress News for the week Sunday 27 February 2022. On Sunday 20th February 2022, Congress WBN assembled before the throne of God as one global community for the Harvest Knock. Every heart, human life and household with great joy engaged powerfully with the process. Harvest is the end of the age where the harvester does not ripen the grain. The harvester arrives when the grain is ready, when the grain is ripe. That's when those who reap the harvest come in. They do not come to provoke the grain unto ripeness. The grain has already been made ripe and it is the time, it is the hour, it is the certified season to be reaped. And we want to arrive in the lives of people who have already been spoken to by God. We have been commissioned. We have been activated. We have been sent into the fields for harvest and in gathering. In this week's Congress News, we will be reviewing feedback from across our Congress on the impact of the Harvest Knock. It was a great day. What a wonderful day of activation and commissioning. God has equipped us for the season ahead. There's this new joy and excitement within my heart. And I am so very grateful to be among the saints, the commissioned saints of Congress WBN. I feel so much joy and my heart is full of gratitude that we are called for such a time as this. You feel so prepared. You feel so equipped great sense of empowerment and boldness. Now I will complete this task with diligence. Be excited and feeling really equipped to move into this new season of Engathering. Coming out of Knock 4, I just feel so joyful. I feel a lot of gratitude um, for where God has brought us to. Um, it's been a long journey to get here. So I think it's a really special time. I think it's a time of rejoicing. It's a time of sobriety, but it's also a time, I think, of celebration of how, how far we've come, where the Lord's brought us, and being able to move forward with strength and with joy. It was just phenomenal how God landed in our hearts, how the earth just synchronized with the heavens and vice versa. It felt like God landed so powerfully in my heart personally. He's written on my heart and He's enabling me for the season that is ahead. I feel a sense of comfort in my spirit that God has been preparing us from before for this time and in this season. And I feel like if I'm ready for the ingathering and I feel I'm full of faith that the Holy Spirit is going to guide us and lead us as to what to see. I really think that the Harvest Knock impacted me today in a way that I felt like a new space in my heart open up, like a door that's been locked for a long time. That's finally, like you finally found the key and it's being open. That's kind of how I felt. And it's like a space for those who are coming in, in, in gathering and harvest. I am grateful for where God has brought us. This is where the journey was intended to bring us. For the saints all over the globe, and for saints right here, for my family, for my brothers, uh, for our children, it's a joy. It's really a place that we can say today is a day like no other. The festival of in gathering was a time of extreme joy, a time of fullness. All of their labor was validated in this fullness of the time. The entire community was activated. Everybody went out joyfully to reap this harvest before winter came. As we go out with joy, as we go out backed up by the power of God, I want us to understand and to know this is not our place. I want every single believer getting ready for the grace of God falling upon you. Let us now begin to live in booths. Knock for delivered a real package of values into my heart and one of the key things in that value pack came right at the beginning when Dr. Rojo told us live in boots it felt to me like it delivered the correct motivation for entering into the harvest a significant alignment into the heart of God do this with the right motivation 
the mission is still the same. We want to go home. We are doing this for him. We are doing this to fill his barns with plenty and to bring him joy. I could sense that deluge of grace flowing to my life, that aspect of living in temporary structures, that in the midst of harvest and the plentiful that is in our, in our world, that we're taking a step back and setting our gaze forth into immortality and home. There is a divine frequency, there's a divine speaking. It's not just coming for the pastors, it's coming for the harvesters. That divine speaking, that utterance, that frequency falling from heaven is hunting you. Is coming to you today. Loma anti befelai de mani ne kauri na ime kab zikber zstefanol na mukhwa maalti tamfuli teriyozi no boroniro. Mkhne atu mez maalti zi ekzi abihir eti zel alama uzkona hasabu abihwatna kgeber zdeliyozi ne bere planu kama hatem zhatem el na maaltiyo befelai de mani eti. نگزیابیار اون کمپلیسیت وید مانی سعیل نا کالی اسب زین خونالو ات از اجها وارایی از اجاجن بفولی بعض زنده نقبلالون وید ماست قبل نالون نکن آنالون نگزیابیار از اجان هواریوی از اجا کلو حالا املاخ دم خم زعج به نظر آنالون I feel like we are walking inside the fullness of the partnership with God seeing how he is orchestrating um, every aspect of what we are doing here with Harvest. I feel this sense of um, boldness and strength and confidence in moving into Harvest because of this partnership and being confident that he is the one that gives the increase. Our emphasis is on gathering those whose names are written in the Lamb's Book of Life. We reach out to all those that we can but in the midst of that activity, we believe that each one of us will be led by the Lord himself. Our responsibility is really to just partner with the Holy Spirit and have a new prophetic dimension that he um, kind of declared over everyone. And so that was significant for me, um, just understanding in the work environment, among friendships, families, not going off of my own personal longing, but literally just doing what God says. I have to become aware of the voice of the Lord, of the speaking of the voice of the Lord, to be strategic in my approach um, to either ministering or evangelizing in this season. I may have love for my family, I may have love for the lost ones, but I can't approach them without partnering with God first, listening to Him, and then, um, and then following that uh, voice to strategically guide me to reaching out to them. I really felt a biggest impact when Dr. Wojciech had said, that you won't be confused or tongue-tied um, when having these interactions and being guided by the Spirit um, really lifted my faith and gave me a sense of encouragement. I also felt a greater need to be building in my life and be building and connected to my community. God has given us that emboldened spirit. He has given us the capacity. We are being spirit-led. God is leading us to the people that he requires, whose names he has written and determined to be in the Lamb's Book of Life. The part where Doc talked about the importance of making sure we're not being led by our own emotions, I thought that was very key, especially for me, because sometimes it, it's, it's easy to veer into my emotion when I have a preference or have an emotional attachment to someone or something. And it's like, just, it's like God, calibrating that and correcting that and making sure we're constantly in the boundaries of his speaking. A powerful expression of the reality of in the gathering demands that we be filled with the boldness that comes from the Lord. Not the boldness of the human personality, but the express momentum of the spirit that flows through your life and that will tell you what to say, when to say, and how to say it. I felt a strong surge of divine energy, boldness, faith, and empowerment arriving into my life from the upper realm. And as we go out into the harvest fields, I know I'm carrying with me a state of conscious awareness of the presence of the Lord, His Holy Spirit, guiding me in what to say, when to say it, 
and I'm one of the laborers going out into the fields to bring back a bountiful harvest for the Lord and Master. In the harvest knock, I realize that the time for gathering starts now and we are ready. The Lord is calling his people now. I will do God's will even when I need to be brave and strong in the Lord. I'm not afraid because the Lord is and will always be with me. One thing that really stood out to me was the boldness um, that's coming from God in this new season. And um, one line that stood out to me was, let us not be, let no one be timid among our children. And I really pray for that um, for our kids um, because it is just a new season where I know that God is going to come show up as we speak to people and even um, feel a new sense of power as a family um, as we get together with people that God would really show up and speak through us and um, not be intimidated by strong personalities and, and people out there that um, have a different mindset and so um, I'm just thankful for this new season and really walking in a new sense of boldness and identity. Father, we pray for supernatural enabling and boldness coming from heaven that we will not bow, O oh God, before the aggressive personalities of men in the earth. Fill every believer with boldness that comes from above. After Dr. Woodruff preached and prayed, I felt like I had something very important to do. Now I feel braver and bolder to talk to my friends about Christ, and I know the Holy Spirit will help me to share it. I really personally felt a great sense of boldness and encouragement to really have that prophetic sense and continue going forward and looking for God's people and God's saints. It was through the boldness of one saint that I am here today. The harvest knock has reminded me of my journey. I've not been forged and experienced growth for myself but I have come into a state of maturity and the Lord says the field is ready. Now I can go forth in boldness, led by the Spirit, to labor for the harvest. Now that's the sound of the saints. What an incredible testimony of the divine power now flowing across our entire Congress following knock number four, the harvest knock. Next week, we will continue our recap of the impact of the activation of Engathering in the hearts of the saints. Remember, you can continue to share the impact of the Harvest Knock and the commission released by the Lord in your own life by submitting your feedback on congressknock.org. We look forward to hearing from you. As newly commissioned saints in God's great mission, let us continue to pray in this season of harvest and in gathering for wisdom, grace, and prophetic faith to fulfill the will of the Lord and to finish. And that was Congress News for the week, Sunday, 27 February, 2022.